Good morning, everybody. So we we're driving past our local elevator and decided to stop in because I don't know if you can see Grant behind me and see him in comparison to that bucket, but we just had to stop and check it out. Which is crazy. Obviously very top heavy. The bucket, it's a 16 yard bucket and that holds about 300 bushels worth of corn. And it takes just under four bucket scoops to fill a triple axle semi-trailer, grain trailer, fully loaded. That's a big machine, but this is even a bigger pile of corn. <laughs> I know, I'm looking around. So and this is corn. just this is just one pile. So unfortunately, the last truck just left, which is probably a good thing because I don't think they'd let us be standing out here if they were actively loading trucks. So unfortunately, I don't have any trucks to load, but it's still really cool to see this machine up and working and in action. This is awesome. So all around the Midwest at grain elevators like this, there's these huge ground piles. Usually they're tarped. They're not always left uncovered like this. They're only uncovered when they're actively taking parts out. But if you can see these tubes here, like in the wall, and it allows for ventilation under the big tarp. It's not just big loaders that are used to scoop, scoop corn. You can put big bucket attachments on excavators and use that to load semi-trucks or grain trailers. Usually by the elevators, there's railroad tracks and big trains will come through and all the cars will get loaded up with whatever kind of grain is at that particular elevator. What do you think? Should I run this thing? If they'll let you. How does it feel in here? This thing is sitting on top of the world. It's like I'm driving a house. Okay. It's a very spacious cab here. No steering wheel. As you can see, it's all joystick controls. Do you think you're comfortable with that, Grant? Yeah. Gas. <laughs> it doesn't even look like real life. No, it it's feels like, like being in a video game or like a big claw machine or some kind of game at an arcade, it like doesn't feel or look real. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Now imagine that being dumped into a train car or a trailer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is this making your <laughs> childhood dreams come true? Yes, this is crazy. Well, I just can't imagine putting this into a truck driver's truck. I mean, if you know a truck driver and they own the truck and trailer, they are very particular about that. If you'd been a tarp strap or something, my goodness, I don't know. Today's video is brought to you by Upside, the free app that gives you cash back at gas stations, restaurants, and grocery stores. Grant and I both drive huge diesel pickups that just guzzle fuel. And so having the opportunity to earn cash back while we fill up our pickups is a win-win scenario. I know a lot of credit cards and gas stations offer rewards programs, but Upside users earn up to three times as much cash back as those programs are offering. That's real money. To get started, go to the Google Play Store or Apple App Store and download the free Upside app. While you're setting up your account, use my promo code, Laura Farms, and that is going to give you access to $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, depending on what you're doing, you're gonna to wanna to select either gas station, restaurant, or grocery store. Open up the map and it will show you what offers are near you. I live in a really rural area and so usually apps like this don't have a lot of options for me, but I have found that a lot of places I frequent work with Upside. And so I'm earning cash back at places that I'm going anyways. Next, all you're going to do is pick the place you're going, for example, a gas station, and then hit claim on the offer and then pay as you usually would with your credit or debit card, scan your receipt, and it's as simple as that you're earning cash back. As easy as it is to earn that cash back, it is just as simple to cash out. You have access to a variety of options, including 
directly deposited into your bank account, PayPal account, or a variety of e-gift cards. Upside really is a no-brainer. So click the link in my description to download the free Upside app and use my code Laura Farms to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. All right, back to the video. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're in the shop. If you watched, I believe it was two videos ago, Grant and I purchased a semi truck. This is something we've been in the market for for a long time, and we got an absolute steal on this one on an auction. Um, however, on the drive home, <laughs> we had many issues. Uh, lots and lots of issues. The heater doesn't work and we drove it home on a night where poor Grant, he was driving it home. I believe it was like negative 30 with wind chill. It was horrible. The heater doesn't work and the batteries are unreliable. I don't know when the last time the oil was changed and we had a steering axle wheel bearing go out and a driving axle wheel seal go out on the drive home and it was like an hour drive home. So lots of things went wrong. So before we take this thing on its maiden voyage, which should hopefully be to purchase a trailer because this semi truck really does us no good without a trailer. And the whole point of it is to have another trailer for harvest time. So we really speed up our efficiency and speed with harvesting. Anyways, before we take it on its maiden voyage, we need to do some serious maintenance. What I can do is change the oil and change the filters. And I think it needs new batteries, but I'm going to start it and see if that's the case. So that's the plan. Take bets, Grant, what do you think? Uh, I don't think it'll start. You don't think so? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Nope. Man, I ran this thing last night. I had to use the jumper to get it started. But so, I've been sitting here for a while, so. Definitely new batteries. We yeah, and the guy, the guy did say that, so yeah. I knew that going into it. But it just kind of stinks. Maybe Batteries our, uh, are expensive. steal of a deal wasn't so much of a steal. I believe you'll need this one. Did you know? I may Did have. Did you measure beforehand? Uh, or are you just that smart? I feel like Grant has this uncanny ability where he can just look at something and know what size it is. I don't have that skill. I usually have to grab like a range of four wrenches and try each one, and I'm usually off by one. Like, I need one bigger or one smaller than the four that I grabbed. So we'll see. Did you measure or no? I was one off. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Well, at least you were honest about it. Yeah. It's a good idea taking the negative off first. Thanks. All right, everyone, pay attention to how this is arranged so that you can help us remember. <laughs> Those two, that goes there. That one goes there. Has everyone committed it to memory? All right, good. Grant decided I couldn't be trusted with the can of spray no, paint. No, that... And I downgraded. Paint can was just... I downgraded. Uh -huh. You guys got paint in my mouth. It's a good thing I've been taking on my workout class. It's pretty heavy, but I think I can handle it. Gross. I love it when batteries have built-in handles. So nice. Think this handle old? Oh yeah. I think I can take two. Oh yeah. Our battery box is looking a little tough. Why thank you. You're welcome. Ugh. Glad I got a bed liner. That's why I like coming to Napa. Yeah. New batteries are here. Now I've got this wood block here but I need something right here so that I can keep them back. So I found actually the perfect piece of wood right here. So I'm going to give it a little chop right there. And then once I have that all secured in, then we'll secure the batteries. Oh, 
you're kidding me. It's like a centimeter too long. I should have done this first. Hopefully, I'll be okay. Come on. Oh, no way. Can't believe I got that. We'll just do a little spritz of PB Blaster. Those batteries are not going anywhere. Okay, start this thing up. I think so. See if your batteries will do it. <laughs> I don't that, weigh enough. That hood weighs more than you do. Definitely. I'm not adequate at semi driving yet, but this is the year. All right, let's see if my new batteries work. Are you Yeah, you're just missing your uh, your load. You got nothing on. A bad truck driver show nothing on. I need a trailer for that. All right, I'm gonna be real honest. I do not have a great track record with changing oil. I've done it in my really old black pickup, the Chevy I used to have. Do you remember that? And I've done it in my white car. And I've helped Grant do it on his pickup and on one of the four wheelers. And I've changed my dirt bike oil probably three times. And a couple well engines. And some well engines, yeah. Those are easy though. But never on a semi truck. Keep coming under with me. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think he's upset right now. <laughs> he does not like this. Okay. Scotty might have to get off. Scotty, come here. All right, Scotty, get off. I got focus. Grant's gonna kick you out. Kind of oh, nice. Dang. Okay, now we gotta be ready to switch. Okay. I'm so I'm, I'm gonna pull, and you're gonna push that one. Okay, sounds good. But you gotta dig that plug out of there. Uh, I'll do it. That's okay. Successfully got the plug. We find the filter now. No one told me how comfy these little rolling carts were. I understand. This is great. Take a little nap here. Yeah, I don't think that's the point of this. <laughs> Scotty's gonna take a nap on you. All right, and we get those oil filters off. Yeah. Well, that's creative. Yeah. That doesn't look like an oil filter wrench, though. Well, I. Don't know where my oil filter wrench is. Hmm. Very tight. Is it spinning? I don't know. I'm crushing it. Uh oh, here. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. So once you dent it, it's like a pop can, then the whole rest of it's compromised. 
Mm. Oh, I poked a hole in it. <sighs> Dang it. Who puts their filters on so tight? I have no oh, idea. Goodness. Like, lightly seated, half turn. Maybe three quarters to a full turn. These are like, I don't know. Someone was really yeah. wrenching on these things. I'm not happy that you're struggling. Oh! <gasps> That wasn't your finger, was no, it? No, we're good. Okay. Who does this? I, I don't know, but I guess it, it makes me feel better. Like, I'm not weak. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, at least if I can't get it, you can't get it either. Calling in reinforcements. Anything? Just making a bigger hole. Oh, great. Trying for the fuel filter. Oh! You're kidding me. Goodness. Oh my word. Gonna get your nails all dirty. Oh well. Part of the territory, I guess. Now, this this is how much to turn the filter when you're putting it on, okay? Make sure it threads alright. Okay? Threading on there, turn it. Oh, it's getting kind of tight. Okay, now I'm still able to turn it. That feels pretty good. On there tight, but when we go to take it off and change it the next time, we're not gonna poke a hole in it. Exactly. You heard it here, mechanics. Goodness. Getting anywhere? Who and their cousin put this thing together? This feels like a horrible idea. Definitely. I need a bigger pipe wrench. Um, I need a bar about this long. That's resourceful. Where'd that come from? <laughs> the, uh, snowmobile dolly I'm making my own cheater bar I don't know if I endorse this this is the money shot Oof. is it moving uh, it's bending oh no Ooh. All right, folks, this is a problem that clearly Grant and I do not have a solution for. I don't know. We tried three different kind of cheater bars, the pipe wrench that didn't really fit. The This is what we're working with, which I think, I mean, I know the, what the problem is. The problem is that this is poking into the filter. And just crushing it. And, and it's just, crush, like, it's not getting any grip at all. It's just. Con oh, it's got, it's got well, excellent well, it's, grip. It's, it's, it's gripping, just... like, it's not slipping out. But like we're not getting any turn at all. It's just, it's just crushing it like a pop can. So, are we are we doing something wrong? I mean, I know I was kind of joking like, oh, you know, historically oil changes haven't gone very well for me. But I was kind of just being facetious. I mean, I've never had an oil change go this bad before. This is supposed to be like the easy thing, and it is just not going well. So advice comments maybe we're missing something really obvious it did cross my mind that maybe we're turning it the wrong way but i triple checked that so we are turning it the right way i just i don't, I, I don't this really is, know this what to thing do. is probably our problem but it's the best thing we have right now so maybe we just need to go get a different wrench like kind of a strap looking thing maybe maybe so something that doesn't just doesn't dig as and i even put a little piece of rubber right there so it didn't poke it yeah. But it still crushed it. So. so we're looking we're looking for your advice, guys. This is maybe one of the perks of having a YouTube channel as I have a vast resource of knowledge in you guys. So I'm hoping that in the comments someone can give me some kind of helpful piece of advice because I'm truly at a loss. I don't know what else to do. So I guess stay tuned. Hopefully we can figure out this problem with you guys' help. Uh, 
There's a lot left to do on this truck. Got Definitely the... a lot left to do. We're like in, step one was getting it home. We did that. And we're like a third of the way through step two. And it's not going great. So I guess stay tuned. Thanks for watching today's video. And we'll see you in the next one. Scotty says bye. <laughs>